hello traders dion here welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing all right so i want to talk about the higher time frames the higher higher time frames like the daily and the weekly okay i won't go as far as the monthly but i just want to give an, an idea on how how you should you should be analyzing those higher time frames okay so what i have right now this is the 15 minute time frame okay this is uh the british pound us dollar pair right here so i don't know i just i just like i just like this pair yeah so on the 15 minute chart uh if you know structure mapping you already know that you have to be marking your break of structures your changes of character your points of interest yeah so that is basically how you enter trades on your analysis time frame okay for me it's a 15 minute chart now it's not the same when you're analyzing the higher time frames like the daily or the the weekly okay so they give you a bias you don't have to analyze them the same way you analyze uh the 15 minute chart or your four hour chart okay so on a okay let's just start on the fifth uh the weekly time frame the weekly time frame so just like on the analysis time frame just like on the analysis time frame yes you can you can mark your break of structures and your change of character just to know where the mark the market is going okay you have to be in tune with the market direction but as i said on the 15 minute chart on the 15 minute chart uh, you have to wait for for the market to go to let's say this point of interest here okay you have to wait for the market to go to that to that point of interest for you to find a trade entry so unless you are a really really long-term trader those positional traders those that can hold for months all right most people that can hold for months then yeah you you can do that but you need a really really huge account to do that because this is a huge risk one candle is equal to one week okay that's seven days that's a lot of hours all right so unless you have a really 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 big account and you are good with risk management like really really good then you can be entering on one week otherwise this we only use it for bias we only use it for bias so like i said this is not the same as your smaller time frames when you're analyzing of course you have to keep marking your break of structures just for directional purposes okay to know where the market is heading now these small movements that these movements that seem like they are really small they are huge on the lower time frames okay so you just need to keep that in mind these movements that seem to be very small here they are huge okay so when it comes to the weekly time frame we analyze by candle okay not by the whole movement here let's say on the 15 minute chart you want to be taking a sale or whatever and then on the weekly chart you are still waiting for the market to go to your poi or something for you to do that no okay because this one candle here represents seven days okay so uh i just wanted to give you some tips on what you, you need to be looking for one one thing you need to be looking for fair value gaps all right these fair value gaps if you mark on your weekly chart you mark these fair value gaps at least at least you know that the market reacts to those fair value gaps even if the market won't react in a way like this it won't react in a way like it just bounces into that fair value gap and then starts going all the way down no but there's going to be a reaction 
okay in most instances and this reaction you can see this green candle here okay this green candle here that went up to react to that fair value gap it looks like a small movement right there but this is a weekly candle this week right here this is a big move okay if you are using the four hour chart or the one hour chart or the 15 minute chart this is a big move so the reason i said that it gives you a bias is because when you are trading on the 15 minute chart or any i don't know what what you use even if under those lower time frames it hasn't changed character yet but the market is playing around a fair value gap at least it gives you uh, that kind of edge okay at least to know that it, at any point it, it, it's going to change character and so when it changes character you just wait for the market under that analysis time frame of yours way to go back to a POI for you to enter it gives you that boost you know that boost to enter uh it just gives you that confidence okay to hold a trade longer okay because you know that on the weekly time frame you are just in a uh, you are in a fair value gap okay also also these single candle order blocks these single candle order blocks okay this single candle order blocks also these things the market reacts to them okay this looks like a small reaction but on a on a on a small on a smaller time frame this this was a huge huge movement all right this was a huge movement this is what bias looks like bias looks just like this okay so what i what i want you to do uh is go to your charts okay just try start practicing this these things okay look for where there are single candle order blocks or fair value gaps and on a weekly chart on a weekly chart and then like right here this is a single candle order block right here okay? this right here Okay. you can see how the market reacted it came down of course it was falling it was falling and then it came down started reacting to this you know this single candle order block it didn't go that far but this is huge this is a huge huge movement okay now you don't just enter just because on a uh, on a on a on the weekly chart the market is in, is reacting to a single candle you can see this movement the market was still falling despite already being in a single candle order block zone but it was still falling this is a huge move so even here you really have to st still stick to your analysis time frame okay what i'm saying is that this is just going to give you a boost okay at least you you, you won't be that scared to hold a trade longer okay you can see here this is a single candle order block again that formed right here this is a single candle order block so i don't want you just to take my word for it you can go to your charts okay you can start analyzing your, your charts you don't even need to use the currencies or, or, or currencies or whatever you can just analyze your charts okay you can see these are huge huge movements okay here it came down it went up here it didn't go anywhere it came down again reacted to it you know so let me zoom out so all that or oh, everything that we're doing was just here okay i was not concentrating on where the market was reacting here or whatever just those things okay just those things and then there are certain opportunities that presents really really good uh, long long term uh long term entries okay like this here you see how the market reacted to that this is this is 
this is an order block here. There's a fair value gap here. Let me just draw it out here. In case you can see it. Right there. Right there. Okay. You can see right here. Okay. There's a fair value gap right there. Okay. I know it's very small, but that's a fair value gap. Okay. So the market just reacts to that. And this, this started on a Monday, as you can see. So it's like the, 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 the market was just opening. Okay. So these are, if, especially if, if you even uh, like pair it with time, you know, it makes a lot more sense. It makes way, way more sense. Yeah. So this was a huge movement here. These are some of the movements where, this is where you see, uh, for some of us who trade uh, the 15 minute chart, this is where you see the market just start running. And then it just leaves you behind, especially if you didn't have <laughs> an entry anywhere. Okay. At least for people that trade the forward chart, at least it's, it's a bit uh it's not that small so at least you'll get an entry yeah so these are some of the trades that you just be frustrated it just leaves you you don't even know what happened okay so yeah those are some of the things okay so you can just you just keep just look for where 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 are the the what the fair value gaps you know the single candle order blocks you know those things okay if you want for if you want to go for a longer term you know analysis if you're a positional trader which I'm not yeah you can do something like this. The market may go through it but hmm, it didn't even go through okay yeah so even on the higher 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 time frames the market just works the same but for you you really need to pay attention to these you know uh, these small movements right here okay you can see here even let me just start from here this is a counter trend. If you know, this we are not we are going against we are going against a trend. But for you, you are looking at these small small movements here. Okay, this is a single candle order block right here. Okay, the market comes to it. Okay, reacts then start going up. Again, you have a fair value gap there. You have a fair value gap right here okay the market comes down reacts to that fair value gap on the lower time frames you know what the market uh, at least you know where the market uh, is reacting to okay and then it makes a single candle order block right there okay right here you mark it you mark it like that the market comes down to that single candle order block reacts to it makes another single candle order block i hope you can see what's happening okay makes another single candle order block right here comes right back to it and then explodes okay here it it left uh you can see here so that's a fair value gap in case you think the market is just reacting to nothing okay right there even there's a single candle i can go this the whole day so there's not really a lot of stuff that i do on my on my charts really yeah but when you look at my 15 minute chart analysis sometimes even if the market is going my way i, I may i may just choose not to take a certain trade because of what's happening on the really higher time frame because it's just something I'm waiting for. Okay. So okay, let's look at the daily. So this is 
So you see, on the daily time frame, you don't even need to mark a lot of stuff. Okay. You don't even need to mark a lot of stuff. So this is where the market is. So on the weekly chart, we are in a, in a we are in <coughs> in a downtrend. Even here, we are in a downtrend. It just made a change of character here. Okay. Here you can see it's already playing around the, the fair value gap right here. Okay. Yeah, there's also order blocks right here. Okay. You can see these small, small reactions here. This is very small. Yeah. If you go to this is what's happening right here. Okay. The market already made this break of structure. So when I look at the daily time frame here, I'm looking at this. There's a the single candle order block down there yeah so in my mind i need the market to go all the way down there okay to that single candle order block which also has a fair value gap yeah and then there's also this just ordinary order block right there so there's a lot of stuff to look out for if you go to the four chart you go to the forward chart i know my my it looks like a mess this is this is how my charts look so yeah sometimes i just don't bother removing the stuff <laughs> yeah so even here there's a there's a fair value gap here the market is reacting to this fair value gap right here so there's a lot going on so if for some reason the market doesn't just change character if the market i mean if the market changes character here at least i know what's happening okay but still still if the market comes all the way up because i can see there's a okay let me do this If the market had to go all the way up and then maybe hit uh, the POI or the extreme POI there, okay. And then there's there's an entry setup. I'm going to enter that. I'm going to take that entry setup. So the way I use the bias, the way I use the bias is that it helps me manage my risk. In a way that I already know that there's a fair value gap up there, but the fair value gaps that I really, really like, <laughs> fair value gap that I really, really like, it's on the weekly time frame. Now, on the weekly time frame here, we had a small fair value gap there that has already been pierced, and I don't like these order. What I like are single candle order blocks. But here it seems like some of these single candle orders have already been mitigated. Yeah, but otherwise here I already know the market has been reacting to this single candle order block here. Okay. This single candle order block. This is what the market has been reacting to all this time. Okay. All this time these are a lot of weeks so some of these movements take years okay for them to form these are a lot of weeks okay all right guys so i just i just wanted to share that i can see some of the comments in the in my uh my telegram my telegram dm for such such questions i can see some people also use the the monthly charts for analysis but i just i don't know it's just too big it's just way too big for me so i rather just stick to the weekly daily the forward chart and then yeah but if you don't know how to navigate most of these things it will be overwhelming for you so i would advise if you just pick one bias just stick to that bias it will be simpler for you yeah so 
just wanted to share that if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing and liking this video it really gives me that boost to you know post more of this free content all right guys this has been dion until next time happy trading